What is up everybody? Welcome to my gaming news weekly series. This will be a new series and I hope that everybody enjoys it. Okay, so let's jump in. I chose five articles to talk about that I found really interesting. Uh, first couple ones are basically percent off, uh, off of accessories. So let's start with the first one. Logitech gaming accessories are up to 70% off on Amazon. Damn. Yo. If you need to go and get some gaming accessories for Logitech, now is the time, boys and girls. Go get them, man. I feel like this is a really good deal. I mean, look at this. Logitech G933 Artemis Spectrum Dolby Headset, $94.49. You save 53%. Not bad. Uh, then you have the Logitech K400 Plus Wireless Touch TV Keyboard, $17.98 not bad that's that keyboard is you know the keyboard is really not is really uh, not bad at all for the price cuz the normal price is 40 bucks and you get it for 20 bucks so yeah why not right you save 20 bucks 22 bucks I mean that's a good that's a good freaking uh, keyboard man I mean wireless wireless touch TV keyboard how do you say no to that that's just you don't say no to that, man. Uh, then you have the Logitech G600 MMO Backlit Gaming Mouse. So this is, I'm guessing this is the headset. I'm not going to play the video for copyright reasons. But anyways, as you guys can see, really good deals. I feel like if you are looking to buy gaming peripherals, uh, certainly for you know budget price, now is the time to do it. On to the next article. Uh, apparently, Turtle Beach reaches giant milestone for gaming headsets with 30 million total sales. Wow. Video game headset and accessory maker Turtle Beach has made a wave in the industry as they have reached a giant milestone for the company. Turtle Beach has sold over 30 million gaming headsets since their start in 2005 and has been the market leader in sales for gaming headsets for the last seven years and in revenue for the last nine years dude the last time I bought turtle beach headsets man it was in like what 2000 and 2012 I've got to say they've always been great headsets right now I'm rocking Sony headsets but that's because I got a really good deal here in France but yo that's crazy uh, I cannot believe that they made that many sales that is insane I mean, you know, you know how much those cost. You you can get some at like what twenty bucks, I think minimum. Just multiply that times thirty million. <laughs> they made a, a crap ton of money. That is crazy. Uh, Turtle Beach Stealth six hundred wireless headset has continued to be North America's best selling wireless gaming headset in two thousand eighteen to now, according to the manufacturer, retailing at ninety nine dollars. So yeah, just take that $99 and times it times 30 million, boys. That's basically how much they made. <laughs> you feel sorry? Because <laughs> I do. Damn, bro. That is crazy. Uh, PlayStation Lifestyle Chandler Wood didn't like the superhuman hearing gimmick he wrote in his review. I found that it simply didn't attunate to the rest of the audio, often leaving music and other standard gameplay sounds peaking and sound crackly. While playing Destiny 2 in Middle Earth Shadow of War, he therefore opted to turn his feature off while using the headset, but otherwise loved the quality and the sound in the flagship series. So basically, they're saying the Stealth 600 basically has some some problems as far as the sound for 99 bucks, you know. But as long as you could turn the option off, why not, right? Okay, on to the next news. Uh, so Epic CEO Tim Sweeney wants his company to be the gaming equivalent of Google or Facebook. Damn, bro. Hey, let me let me tell you something, man. If you're going to be the equivalent of you know, Facebook and Google, be ready to pay up because as of recent, they've been paying up, man. I'm just letting you know. Um, however, I mean, I guess with your success of Fortnite, I guess, you know, I could understand why that would be. You would want to get that, you know, to that level it's all about money that's for sure that's number reason number one but two I don't know how you're gonna get there I mean Fortnite did have a huge success but you're gonna need to have other successes in Fortnite I'm just saying 
Um, so Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney says his company can be the next Facebook or Google, citing an explosive growth of video game companies Fortnite, right? But you're you can't just be like Riot, you know, League of Legends, and just with your game and think to take over the world. You're gonna need to come up with some other stuff, I I think. We feel the game industry is changing in some major ways, Sweeney told Variety. Fortnite is a heartbringer of things to come. It's a massive number of people all playing together, interacting together, not just playing but socializing. Just last month, a record 10.7 million people logged on to Fortnite for a virtual marshmallow concert. According to Business Insider, more than 250 million players have registered accounts. Gamers have been forming communities within video games like Minecraft for years, but Fortnite's free battle royale gameplay has gone viral in the past couple of years. Yes, but how many games went viral, dude? I mean, Minecraft went viral, League of Legends went viral, Apex Legends went viral, your game went viral. You can't just, you know, think that this is going to last forever. I mean, let's take a good example of that, League of Legends. Look how viral that game went when it first came out. It's like one of the most viral games that it came out with, or it came that this this deck had came out with. There was also Minecraft that came out that was very viral. I, I honestly think if you look at Minecraft, I think that's one of the most explosive games that has come out. And why? Well, because so many people can play it. You know, you have low graphics, which means you can play it on the phone. You can play it on a crappy computer I mean I just watched a video of a guy playing freaking Minecraft on win on Windows 98 guys Windows 98 yeah go ahead and try to play Fortnite on Windows 98 you ain't gonna have that happen so you have to think about that too it's you know you if you want more people to play your game you're gonna have to make a game that you can play on lower and lower settings I mean I seen some guy uh, play Fortnite on his PS2 he was able to downgrade the settings enough and you know maneuver some settings into the ps2 and somehow get fortnite playing on a ps2 which is insane but it still doesn't you know the graphics were really crappy we're not on any types of graphics like minecraft for example that you can downgrade to windows 98 and still have everything basically the same as far as the graphics uh just because the graphics in Fortnite are just higher quality in Minecraft, that's just that's the reason behind it. Um, Fortnite Battle Royale reportedly earned the company more than one billion dollars through in-game purchases, and Epic Games has plans to expand ventures with a di digital storefront. According to Ver Variety, the company's Unreal Engine, used by developers to create games or special effects, has 7.5 million installs. That's good. That's really good. But you're not the only one. <laughs> you will one day somebody will be the su successor of you, and that's just how it works, man. I mean, you make one good game, you know, in a lifetime. Look how many companies, as far as the the gaming industry goes, how many companies have made more than one viral game? Honestly, it's very rare. I don't, I can't even think of an example to be honest with you. I really can't. Look at Minecraft. Did they make another viral game? No. Uh, how about Riot? No. How about you? Not yet. Uh, you know, there is. That's very rare. You're gonna have to really come up with something that everybody else can, you know, hang on to. Is Fortnite going to stay around? Probably. Is Fortnite going to last another 10, 15 years? I doubt it. Sorry, dude. Technology just moves way too fast. All right, next uh, next news. Uh, Electronic Arts cuts 350 jobs in gaming's latest high-profile layoffs. Screw you, EA. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. Sorry, but that's just how I feel right now with your game Anthem. Uh, I feel like you laying off all these people. I really hope that they're going to be able to touch something when you're going to be laying them off because I just feel bad for all these people that are going to be laid off. You're doing this to cut off from all the losses of, you know, with your game Anthem, with any other game that you have, Apex Legends, you know, all that good stuff right now. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not doing this right, man. You're really not doing this. This, this, this is not cool. This is not cool. 
Uh, in a public statement, ES CEO Andrew, Andrew Wilson said that in the restructure will hit the company's marketing, publishing, and operations team rather than game development ro roles, and that EA will be ramping down its presence in Russia and Japan, closing its operations office in the latter. Okay. As we look across a changing world around us, it's clear that we must change with it, said Wilson. We're making deliberate moves to better deliver on our commitments, refine our organization, and meet the needs of our players. In addition to organiza organizational changes, we are deeply focused on increasing quality in our games and services. I hope so, because right now it doesn't seem like that's the case. Uh, this is diff this is a difficult day. The changes we're making today will impact about 350 roles in our 9,000 person company. Wow. Uh, these are important but very hard decisions and we do not take them lightly. I hope not, dude. I mean, you're laying off 350 people. I really hope that, you know, they have options after that. I really do because some of them might end up on the street because of that. And an email to employees certainly certainly that these are not even game developers these are lower you know lower tier positions and those people make less money I think from what I'm seeing here uh, in an email to employees obtained to Kotaku Wilson also said we have a vision to the world to be the world's greatest games company isn't that what we just heard from the Fortnite guy I mean come on uh, if we're honest with ourselves, we're not there right now. We have work to do with our games, our players, our player relationships, and our business. Yeah, from reading this, dude, to be honest, I mean, it seems like you're just going to another company or to another 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 country like Russia and Japan and, you know, peace out. Peace out, boys. Because this says that EA will be ramping down its presence in Russia and Japan. So you're, oh, excuse me, you're basically going back to America, right? I mean, that's that's how I kind of feel about what you're doing. And I guess Russia and Japan just kind of screwed your company over. I feel like that business decision was not smart. I feel like EA should have stayed where it freaking came from in the first place. I don't know why in the hell you went to Japan and Russia. Like, what were you thinking? Come on, EA. What were you thinking? Uh, okay, so the last news is important, guys. This is the important part. Rumor. Is Nintendo looking to develop a gaming phone? What? What? Oh, my God. Nintendo is finally going to make an operating system that's basically like everyone else's. Finally, I never thought a hey, to be honest from Nintendo. I never thought I would see this if this is true If this rumor is true, I never thought I would see something like this uh, according to, to an article from WCCF deck uh, a report from Taiwan has heavily hinted that Nintendo is looking to join the mobile gaming party The report touches more on how Nintendo generally feels about mobile gaming rather than giving a, con a concrete yes or no answer yeah, but if they feel that way, that means they might go and actually do something like that. The company is said to be reconsidering their previous decisions of not creating a smartphone and instead have plans to either strengthen their presence in the smartphone market or actually enter it themselves. I mean, if they're talking about smartphone market, it could be of two things. Either they're going to make some type of smartphone or two, they're going to be making apps for smartphone, which I think would probably be the smartest idea. Then again, they could make a Nintendo smartphone. That would be pretty smart. But, but since there's already so many smartphones and them entering the market, you know, right there and then, it probably wouldn't be the best idea. I think making apps for the smartphone would probably de be the best idea. I mean, if you look at Pokemon Go, for example, that's great success the only problem is that they're partnered with Niantic and what they would need to do is just be partnered with themselves instead of going to get partner areas with other people you know just try to do it themselves I think that would make them more uh, a more viable revenue stream to be honest um, right if Nintendo are planning on entering the market they'll be up against companies such as Xiaomi and Razer 
both who already have quite a stake in the gaming phone market. However, the future of the Razer Phone 3 is still under speculation after staff layoffs at the company, while Xiaomi are enjoying a successful launch of the Black Shark 2 gaming phone. I don't even know about that gaming phone, but that seems like a good gaming phone just by the name. It is also speculated that Nintendo would aim to develop middle tier options instead of aiming for flagship. There's also a chance that the phone would have specialized options to connect with the Nintendo Switch 2. That would be freaking awesome. Um, and doesn't surprise me that Nintendo would go for middle tier options. They've always been a middle tier type company as far as their games because their games aren't as, you know, highly GPU intensive. So. Uh, a smartphone from Nintendo would be an unusual move, especially as Nintendo have historically tended to favor family-friendly console gaming over all else. They also already have many apps designed specially for mobile devices such as Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp, and Pokemon Go. Yeah, but Pokemon Go is their best game that they have yet to make for Android. So, with that said... I think that Nintendo is making a smart move if they go into the cell phone uh, industry. I think it would be a lot better than their current options because their current options I don't think is netting them as much as they could be netting uh, as far as money goes. I hope you guys enjoys this week's uh, or my first my first week gaming news. Uh, I will be doing this probably weekly. I don't know if I'll be doing it multiple times a week or if I'm just going to be doing this once a week. I don't know yet. I guess we'll see. And uh, I guess whenever big news comes out, I guess I'll do one of these. I feel like this is a good type of series, and I love doing this type of stuff. So why not, right? Let's keep going, man. Peace out, guys. Subscribe, like, and comment, please. I need your feedback, and peace out.